Yo, what's up? My name is Jason or Strive Visuals, and in today's video, I was showing you how to create this pretty clean ripple warp effect in After Effects. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and create an adjustment layer. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add noise. Go down here and drag it in. Turn off our color noise, and I'm gonna add 50% for our, our amount right here. I'm gonna close this out. And I'm going to go ahead and add S underscore warp bubble. And I'm just going to add this so we can get this nice and clean warp bubble effect you're about to see. So I'm going to the beginning of our clip. And I'm going to put our amplitude right here on 1.68. Oh, 1.68. There you go. Go to amplitude and click on our time watch. Open up my timeline. And we're going to have it at the start at 1.6.8 or 1.68. Then go about right here at 09F, so about right here. And I'm going to put our amplitude all the way down to zero. Highlight both of our keyframes. Easy as it. Go to our graph editor. And we're going to make a simple graph. We're going to have it come in fast and kind of die out slow. So we're going to have it like this. And it should be able to something like this. It has a nice clean warp effect. Let's see if I were to. Put that back. I kind of like it when it comes in more faster, so I'm put this down. And that looks more better. So I'm going to close out our graph editor. And then I'm going to go ahead and add S underscore warp chroma right here. Drag it in. And we get this nice chromatic effect. So I'm going to put our steps right here at 19. And go to the beginning of our adjustment layer. Go ahead to our warp amount right here. And I'm going to put it at 0.5. Create our first keyframe right here. Open up a timeline. I'm going to make our first keyframe right here. It's going to be at the regular setting 0.5 and go to our ninth frame. And I'm going to put it down to 0.15. Highlight both keyframes. Go ahead and easy ease it. And I'm going to go to a graph editor and make the same graph we made earlier where it comes in fast and it dies out slow. So I'm going to go ahead and make this. And we get something like this. It's a nice chromatic effect. And let's just say you don't want it to die out. You can go ahead and just turn off our warp amount. For this one, I actually might leave it. Uh, maybe just put it down just a bit. I don't want it that much of a warp. So we get something like this, and it gets an actual pretty nice chromatic aberration effect right here. It's really, really nice and helps, gives it a nice look. And I'm going to go ahead and add our next effect, which is going to be optics compensation. And we're going to create a nice warping effect. So I'm going to go to our FOV and put on 120. Press reverse lens distort. And it's going to start creating a nice warp effect right here in the beginning. Create a keyframe and have it in the beginning at 120 and go here to our ninth frame over here and put it down to zero. And I'm going to go ahead and tile both keyframes. Easy as it. And I'm going to close this out. And then I'm going to add radio blur or radio blur. I mean, not to say it, just put radio blur, radio blur. Whatever it is, just um, drag it in and put our type on zoom, our quality on high. Go here to the beginning, leave it on 10. Create a first keyframe. Go to our second keyframe right here and put it down to three. Highlight both keyframes and easy ease it. And just like that, within five minutes, you get this pretty nice warping effect right here. And just like that, within what less than 10 minutes, you get this really awesome warp effect to use your next edit or even music video. And let's just say you want to make this effect like even more cool. What I'm going to do is make another adjustment layer. So what I'm actually going to do is open up my animation presets, user presets, and I'm going to use a preset for my Grinch Anarchy Pack. So I'm going to open it up, go to Grinch Flicker Essentials. I'm going to drag in the actual blood grit flicker effect. I'm going to go close this out. And you can even tell like this, just by dragging that in, you can tell horror footage just straight up transforms. But what I'm actually going to do is you can't really see nothing is I'm going to bring down our opacity and I'm going to have our effect actually fade in right here. So I'm going to go out right here, create a first keyframe, go about right here and bring it up to 100 and highlight both keyframes and easy ease it. So we get a nice zooming in effect. Go to our tritone and I'm going to change the color. So I'm going to make it even a bit more lighter around right here. It's all about just really messing around with it. So you want to go like kind of like a mid-tone color. So for this one, I'm going to use blue. Then I'm going to go to our blend with original. And I'm just going to bring it up just a bit. And I'm going to close this out. And for this one, I actually might just move it towards around right here. And just like that, we get this really awesome textured Grinch effect to go along with our ripple warp effect as well. So if you like this effect, 
I recommend checking out the Grand Anarchy pack. It's going to be linked in the description below. The pack itself comes with over 20 effects, ranging from your CRT, well, actually, Grunge CRT effects, your Grunge Essential effects, and even your heavy Grunge Flicker effects. So, if you love CRT effects, Grunge effects, or even just Flicker effects, I really recommend checking out this pack and it's very customizable. So again, if you like this effect, I recommend checking out the first link in the description below. There's a lot more that come like this. And make sure you use code YT5 if you plan on buying it. You need to save a bit of money when you decide to purchase it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, go ahead and like, subscribe, or leave a comment on what you guys want to see next. Keep working hard and keep on staying creative. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.